Hi traders, thank you for joining me. This is the Dow on the daily chart, and you can see nice and neat channel. We have had the distribution pattern late Feb and into March, we've not held up. So I would hang around tomorrow. Uh, we are into an area of support, triple witching next week. So we tend to see the big numbers get tested on triple witching. So we've got weekly jobs and core retail sales tomorrow. So if the market likes though that data, we might come into this 17 and a half area and then turn around. We've got a lot of support here. And the stochastics are very, very low and could start to turn here. RSI is low as well. So, so far, when we come down to lows like this, um, yeah, a little dip down here, we saw a push, a little dip down here, we saw a push, a little dip. So, three ways is typical. Uh, so, this is potentially an A B wave correction with the potential to hold uh, at least a C wave into 18,000. But we will see. So that's the Dow. If we look at the. Let's look at Golden Oil next. Gold suffering under the pressure of dollar strength. We are into a lot of support here. And we're just out of this channel. So we could see some pushback into at least uh, 11.8 and possibly even a full 1200. But at the moment it's a downtrend. I wouldn't start, I would not start to look for any reversals in that. I would keep shorting at the moment. We are low, so it's lower probability down there. It's so oil. Oil is not too dissimilar. Um, so far, we are seeing it looks like it's trying to form a base, but all the time we have this EMA, 50 EMA dropping down. We could just do a little push to the upside and then finally roll over. Dollar is very strong. Supply is ample, there's a lot of oil sloshing around the world, so that could still, I would certainly not buy on the basis of that hammer. It's still in a bearish consolidation with a potential to come and retest 45 and who knows, maybe even 40. And strength of the euro, uh, strength of the dollar, sorry, is seen in this one. Uh, we are now very extended. So, if we look at, so we've got 102 down here and parity right down here. But that bat's had a long, long, long drop to the downside. So let's just see, once we get the data out tomorrow, I think the US data could be the point at which we see some more direction in this. Strong US data could see that toppling over. Euro yen is equally similar. Now that as well. 127 would have that down to 125 based on that localized FIBS. Right, still plenty of scope in this one. I think this is the better one. There's seen quite a lot of strength in the yen. And this is the next, brings me on to the pound yen. Now, uh, this is this is pretty much we're close to the mean average of this um, on this recent move on the basis that this is the the average with a little excursion to the top and a little excursion underneath. So this is at the moment a nice wave pattern. So we've had uh, if we can. If we end up closing under here, then we're at least going to test the 200 and this trend line support. It could be we're just going to tip underneath the 18,000 just to get the volume back in it. 
assuming we stay bullish. So we're going to come in and test some of that lower level. If, however, we just dip under this support and hold, then we need to start buying this 18,100. I I think what we're going to, but I think we've seen a distribution pattern there. Come out of that channel, come back to retest the highs up here and failed. So I think it's likely now that we will see a continual move down with the potential to, to come under 18,000 before we see any recovery in the uptrend. But all the time we've got that, that support underneath underneath us, we are we could end up just getting trapped in that range for a while. So just be careful of that one. And the pound US uh, as dipping under the 150, we're at 149.24. I would still short uh, any tests of 150 to see if that can come down to 148. I think 148 is a target based on that support from July 13. And that's all I've got for you. The DAX on the other hand is just on a tear away. That is just uh, phenomenal. That's quite easing for you. It looked dodgy, looks a bit struggling, but it, it does, it's done that. It does this consolidation. You get a big push up, just shuffle sideways, wait till we come in contact with the trend line, so it dips, the consolidation's over, um, find support, and then up we go again, and we just keep repeating that. So we've had uh, one main wave, two main waves, this is, this is wave three. At some stage, I think we're going to get, well, if we top out at 12,000, could get a, a A, B, C, and then D wave correction, possibly into 12 and a half, possibly. But this is going to be, you know, this 12,000 is going to be massive, and we're only 180 points off of that already. Okay, so I would, I think the most likely scenario is we take a breather um, and retest this hammer and then go up to 12 for next week to a triple witching all right i'll leave that there and happy trading